and open this reverse. What is an openness reverse? It's basically a bidding sequence and one which shows a strong hand. By a strong hand, I mean about 16 or more points. When does this bidding sequence happen? It happens when a, an, an opener has at least two suits where one is longer than the other. And by the opener bidding the second suit, it would force the responder to the three level if they had to come back to the first suit. way to demonstrate it is to do a bidding ladder. So imagine the end of the one level is here, so the two level starts here, and the three level starts here. Let's give the opener this hand here. We've got a good hand, 17 points. The opener is going to start the bidding by bidding a diamond. Now imagine from the responder, their partner, they hear this bid, a spade. In this sequence here, when this opener has this really good hand, the opener is quite happy to bid their hearts and to show their hearts and bid two hearts because they know that even if their partner is at a minimum with this one spade bid and only has, say, six points, if they have to return to this original diamond bid, which they would have to do at the three level, they'd probably be okay. To go to the three level, you normally need about 22 or more points for the three level. So this opener here knows that when they bid two hearts, even if this partner, even if this partner only has six points and a really rubbish hand, they'll probably be okay at the three level if they return to the three diamonds. Let's have a look at a possible responder hand. So you can see, that's rubbish. This responder has correctly replied one spade, but the hand is not very nice. There are only six points in the hand, so it's gone one diamond, one spade by the responder. I jumped to two hearts. This responder is going to look at their hand and think, ugh, this is not great. I don't have support for hearts, but I'm going to have to take my partner back to the three level now and bid three diamonds. And because there's 22 or more points between the two hands, that's probably going to be okay. Now, I'm going to change this opener hand slightly and take away one of these good cards and replace it with something not so good. So now, this opener hand is just a, a normalish minimum opening hand. So again, they're going to open a diamond. And again, this person here is going to reply a spade. But now, this opener cannot bid two hearts. By doing so, it would push their partner to the three level if they had to come back to diamonds. So instead, they're restricted. They can't bid this heart. They have to... Instead, just rebid their five card suit and bid two diamonds. So there are good and bad things about this reverse bid. The good things is that you know that if your partner does make a reverse bid, they've got 16 or more points. And that's really useful information. You also note, know that they would have one suit longer than the other. Also useful information. And the bad is that sometimes you have to repeat your first suit and hide a four card suit, which might be a major.